The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Already, this is some of the most rain that we've seen in a single day in the past two to two and a half months. It's a chilly rain, but we're not complaining about it. Blacksburg, Martinsville, Roanoke at 39 to 42 degrees. Still see some widespread rain out there. Some of our heavier pockets, especially as you go toward Lexington, Buena Vista. And let's zoom right in. Some of our heavier pockets right where we need them to be right over the Matt's Creek fire. That is excellent news there as we try and extinguish that fire or at least get it uh, much more limited than what it is. In the New River Valley, you see a dry period right now. We first told you about that on Virginia today, but farther out to the south and west, we've got more rain filling in. And you can see that on Future Tracker. There's your widespread rain as you go, especially to the west of Interstate 77. You see that little bit of a break. Heading deeper toward about supper time, we'll start to see things filling back into about 100% rain coverage. And especially as we head into the evening, I'm talking 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., near into the east of the Roanoke Valley could actually have some pretty substantial downpours, especially in south side. You see some of those red shadings up until about 11 p.m. After midnight, the energy with this storm system slowly starts to move off toward the east. By tomorrow morning, travel locally looks good to go. But this is some much, much needed rain. As we go through the rest of the day, this is the additional rain that we expect anywhere from about half an inch to two inches of rain that on top of what we've saw earlier before would think make you think that we would see some flooding, but with the drought that we've been in. The ground's just soaking all that up. So when all is said and done, we've got about one to three inches of rain. We still need more. You would need about four to eight inches of rain in a four week time frame to eliminate the drought. That said, we are starting to chip away. So also keep in mind, burn bans may not necessarily be lifted just yet, even though we're getting this soaking rain. Fast forward to tomorrow. We're dry. We're fairly cool. 48 to 52 in the mountains. Everywhere else, about 56 to 61. But you'll start to feel the wind picking up for sure. Not, a go, not going to uh, knock out any kind of power or anything like that, but you do see gusts there in the yellow 25 to 35 miles per hour, especially heading into tomorrow evening. Then as we get to Thanksgiving, things looking up for us, maybe doing a little bit of decorating outside near 60 degrees for high temperatures, and we're mostly dry heading into the weekend. What I'm showing you here is the air pattern about 15,000 feet above the surface, and you see all these storm systems that are disconnected from one another. So yeah, you may see a stray shower or two, but because they're not phased together, we're not really looking at any kind of widespread rain after today. The rest of the afternoon and evening is going to be a soaker. Tomorrow we're in the 50s. Thanksgiving Day 55 to 60. Beyond that cooler with highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s, and the chance for an isolated shower any given day heading into early next week.